Is there anything that can be more challenging than a manicure transformation? Yes, it's fresh manicure transformation coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Anastasia and today we have a client with a manicure that she did in another salon and she didn't like it. One nail is already broken and it's been less than a week since she did that. As you can see, the color is still pretty close to the cuticle. So first I decided to take off the color and as I'm filing it off with a ceramic bead, I noticed that this overlay is extremely thin for this kind of length of natural nails, you definitely want to do a thicker application. Honestly, it's my first transformation and first infill when I have to take off the old product when it's been just a few days since the color was applied because it's so close to the cuticle, it's actually quite hard to reach it with this bead. So I will take off the most of the product with this one and then I will need to switch to another one of this shape because the tip is more narrow and I can get closer to the cuticle without touching it. There are cuts along the cuticle on a few nails so I have to be extra careful not to touch them and not to damage the client's skin again. So now my goal is to take off the remaining color all across the cuticle and also some of the color is actually under the cuticle so I guess this nail technician she made an attempt to apply the color deep so that's gonna be another challenge to somehow take the product out of there. I could sock off the color but I think this is also not the best idea since she has some fresh cuts on her skin and any remover liquid will definitely burn her skin. When I'm done with the color, I'm going to file the nails underneath because about 4 nails out of 10 were also extensions, gel extensions, so I guess they did them on forms and I want to file off the extra thickness that we have underneath and to shorten the natural nail a little bit. These four nails that were did, I guess this is hard gel on forms and by the way they were all done on her left hand. Uh, I have to admit that they were done pretty good, so I think we will not have any problems with those. And I'm not going to take them off, I'm simply going to do an infill. And her right hand is full natural nail overlay, so honestly it's kind of confusing. I mean, I would understand if the one nail is broken and you do extensions, but when one hand is like gel overlay and another one is extensions, I don't know, oh well, we'll just fix that. So there's one nail that is broken and I'm going to do extensions, but first I need to prep it to file off the surface shine and also to file off some remaining color and to file it short as well. As you can see, some color is still remaining on the sides and along the cuticle. And here's another challenge I faced. So there's some color remaining on the side right here and it is almost impossible to reach it because this part is over filed. So basically there is a dip there and the color is inside. So I can't really reach it with my file no matter how much I tried. So I'm carefully filing it off with a bead. And as you can see, this natural nail sidewall is over filed as well. So I have to be super careful not to over file it even more. As you can see, it's missing now. So now I carefully push back the cuticle and find more product and color under the cuticle. So my advice to all nail technicians that are just getting started, if you do not feel confident by applying the color too close to the cuticle or under the cuticle, it is better to leave a tiny margin. Trust me, the clients won't really notice the difference and it will still look tidy. This client, she didn't like that the color was not applied very well along the cuticle and the reason for that is, as you can see now, I'm pushing back the cuticle and it looks like no cuticle care was really done here even though it's been less than one week. So if you didn't do any cuticle care, if you didn't push it back properly, then you cannot really apply the color as close as you want. So now I'm going to carefully clean it with e-file to clean some remaining color. Do not worry, luckily under the cuticle there is no cuts, it's simply the color remaining. And also the cuts that we have on the cuticle, they are dry, so I'm not going to touch them so they can heal in peace. 
By the way, this is my favorite skin type to work with. It's normal, but a little dry. So it's just so easy to clean it, so easy to work with e-file. So now I'm going to work on the left part at forward mode and clean all the skin as well as remaining old product. And then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side at reverse mode. I love this part of manicure, especially on this skin type. Let me guys know, do you find it satisfying to watch? Done. And this is what we have now. Here's one hand and here's the other one. So here we need to do the index finger, an extension, and on the other hand the sidewall of the middle finger is missing. So I'm going to use clear poly gel. This is control gel by IBD and simply to extend this part and add the missing sidewall. Because without it, this nail will not look like this is an almond shape or it will be much more narrow than other nails. So when you're doing an application like that, I usually call it applying product on the air. Do not press too much, otherwise all of the product will squeeze on the other side of the nail and we do not really want that. But if it happened, don't worry, simply turn the hand around and quickly fix it. So then I cure it in LED and while it's curing, I'm working with the opposite hand. So here we're going to do an extension and I intentionally fit the form a little bit downwards. First of all, you need to do that since we're doing element shape. And also I want all these nails to match. And since they're growing a little bit downwards, we want this nail to look the same. So I apply dehydrator, non-acid primer and base coat cured it for 30 seconds in LED and here I'm going to use IBD control gel as well. It is pretty thick as you can tell and actually I like it about this product because it will not run or move anywhere unless you apply it. So this is a lot like working with acrylic. So if you are an acrylic person, you will definitely like this consistency of poly gel. I started building the free edge first and when you are doing that, do not forget to take a look at the other nails. So this almond is in the same style and shape and length as the other nails. So then I cured it for 30 seconds and then I apply the larger pearl so we can create the apex and the structure of the nail. I did have to pinch it by the way because this client, she already have a deep natural curve, which is great. So in this case, sometimes you do not really need to pinch. This used to be my favorite brush, but clearly it's not working well for this product. So I switched to another one, which is square, and this is much shorter. So first I work on the cuticle area, press the product so it will be super thin, and then I slightly stretch it. So do not forget to add more product in the center where the apex is, and as you go closer to the free edge, it should be thinner again. This product is not going to self-level or anything, so everything is in your hands. So I probably took too much and that's okay because you can always take off the excess one and clean it and smooth out the surface and then cure it in LED. After freeze curing for 30 seconds, I put on the plastic clamp and cure it again. Now let's switch to the opposite hand and here we have natural nails. And I'm going to do a simple overlay except for this one, because this one is growing downwards a lot and I'm going to fix that with the same product, clear control gel. So I'm going to apply this part on the free edge only, because after that I'm going to file it off underneath and this is how we will get the nail that looks straight and is exactly the same as the other nails. By the way, this is very typical for index finger, especially on dominant hand, to be growing downwards. And usually when I'm fixing that, that's the only nail you really need to fix. 
But do not forget that this is not only the tip of the free edge that you need to fix. When you will be filing it, there will be the sidewalls located in a different place, so you need to add a little bit of the sidewalls too. Before curing, do not forget to check what's going on underneath the nail and if there is some product, you can fix it with a brush and then cure. So on this hand, I'm going to do a regular gel infill, so I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer only on the area where we have natural nail. And then I'm going to apply base coat. And normally you need to apply it only on the area where you have natural nail because this is where we need adhesion. But I usually apply it on the whole nail because the surface will be more smooth that way and it will be just easier to apply the new product. But you don't have to do it this way. It's just, you know, when you apply it only near the cuticle area, there after curing will be a little bump left. So for me, just not very comfortable to work after that. We need to fully cure a base coat, which is usually 30 seconds in LED. And then I'm going to apply gel. Since it's been not a long time after these nails were done, like less than a week, there's nothing really to feel, but the surface was not very even, so what I'm doing now, I'm mostly fixing this surface and will add just a little bit near the cuticle, so these nails will all look exactly the same. As I mentioned before, you can see that these nails were done pretty good. I do not see any product lifting or any problems. The surface was a little not smooth, but that's fine. I think the most important part is to create nails that will look good, that will not lift, and most importantly, they will not damage natural nails. And other things like perfect color application, nail art, is the second thing that you need to learn. Let me guys know if you agree with me in the comments. After you apply gel, take a look from different sides, from different views, and if it's all good, then we can cure it, and while it's curing, I will be working with the opposite hand. So here, we already applied poly gel on this nail on the free edge, because we want to fix it, and then I'm going to apply the rest of the product using hard gel, and yes, it's totally fine, to mix them together even if you apply them on one nail. Because chemistry-wise, poly gels, hard gels, they're all the same products. So I applied a thin coat and did not cure it. Then I take a larger drop of this hard gel and move back and forth with the brush so I can build the apex, the cuticle area, and all the structure that I need. I'm using Envogue Builder Gel for this one. So while it's curing, we can work with the opposite hand. When you're done, it is time to take off the sticky layer. I have to be super careful once again because we have some fresh cuts along the cuticles now. And I will start with filing nails underneath, especially the one that we want to change the direction of. So remember this index finger, it was growing downwards like a lot and now we're going to fix it. So mostly I'm filing the free edge, do not file sidewalls a lot. And since she had a natural nail here, that means we will file it off a little bit, which I recommend to do anyways. So I'm using a tapered cone shaped carbide bead with a green abrasive mark, which is coarse because this product that I'm working with, IBD Control Gel, it is pretty hard, so I think it's ideal for this kind of fixing of the nails, but also I need to choose a more coarse beads to file it. I will be filing other nails from the underside as well, but not as much because I don't really need to change anything, I only want to clean the natural nail underneath. So now we need to file and shape the nails and check if the shape and the length is all the same on all 10 nails. Alright, we are done with the filing and this is what we have now and I will be using scissors to trim the cuticles because this is the only way how I can do it carefully without touching the fresh cuts that she already have. 
So this is the result we have after cuticle care and filing and shaping the nails. And now we're going to apply the color. And I have some interesting design I had in mind for a while. So finally I get to try it. So first I need to apply a nude color so the nail will not be a see-through. I will apply it on all 10 nails and by the way if you used a nude gel before then you can simply skip this step, cure in LED and then I'm going to apply red. But not just apply it on the entire nail, I am going to apply it on two thirds of the nail. And I decided to do it with a regular gel polish brush but then I'm definitely going to help myself with a thin brush so I can apply the color closer to the cuticle along the sidewalls and also I would like to fix this line so it will be perfectly straight. So on other nails I did a similar color application so one is half and on the other one I have less red. And also we decided to add a couple crazy stickers for example this one where there is a woman and half of her body has turned into flowers. So I simply cut the design that I chose then, you put it into the water for like 20 seconds and then you carefully separate this clear part. And usually I do not have any troubles with them staying on the nail. You simply need to get rid of all the water and make sure there are no air bubbles. So this is what I do now with the orange wood stick. And on another one I will use this one. So this is a woman again and half of her brain is also turned into flowers. And I think this is ideal for this kind of color application because this is like half and half. Half red and half nude. So this is how it works. You simply put it into the water and then transfer on the nail. And this looks pretty cool, like an actual hand-painted design. And once you seal it with the top coat, you will not be able to see any line or this clear part. Just make sure you do not have any air bubbles. I will be using a no-wipe nail space top coat to seal this design. And once I started this application, I actually thought that, yes, this may look cool, but what if we would try it with a matte top coat? So we did. And this is what we had before and after the transformation, this is what we have now. And I have a question for you guys. Which one do you like the most, glossy or matte with this design? The client enjoyed the matte one and I don't really know. Even though I love matte red nails, with this one I think the glossy looks just fine as well. Thank you so much for watching and if you're first time here do not forget to subscribe since I will be posting more educational tutorials and transformation every week and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!